Have you noticed how a covert narcissist will use their vulnerabilities as a way to manipulate things, control situations, set the narrative, and basically as a weapon against you? My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic people in your life. When a narcissistic person plays the victim, when they twist realities or get you to get really reactive and angry so that then they can say, see how angry you are, see how you yell at me, see how you do these things, see how I'm the victim, in whatever form of manipulation they use to become the role of the victim. It will elicit the empathy, compassion, care from others, all right? It will evoke feelings in other people of either believing the victim status or wanting to reach out and help or understanding why that narcissistic person is the way that they are, the way they get reactive, the way they possibly aren't always their best self because, you know, they're the victim. So when they twist this reality and when they play the victim, then completely dismiss and disregard the toxic ways in which they've treated you, they are weaponizing what looks like their vulnerability or weakness. What they do is by doing this, they're gathering others around them who believe this false narrative. So have you noticed this with narcissistic, covert, vulnerable narcissists where, you know, they're always playing the victim or they're twisting what actually happened to take away from what they did to you and make it look like you did the thing to them, thus making them the victim. Have you had that happen? Have you seen that? Let me know in the comments, you guys. This is frustrating. It is infuriating. It's painful to experience this because what they're doing in creating this narrative completely diminishes and takes away from the abuse that you are experiencing. Now, a lot of times, narcissistic people, when they're covert like this, and when they are the type that really tries to pull the affections and the empathy and the sympathy from others is that they appear to be very open people, open with who they are and what they feel. You'll often see this in spiritual communities or even therapy communities or even in groups where there's trauma survivors and healing involved. So you'll see this pulling for attention for their weakness, the setting of the narrative of them being the victim when what they're doing is perpetrating abuse and perpetrating manipulation onto other people, and at the same time being so open about how they feel and what they experienced. So that not only does that evoke sympathy and empathy, like we talked about before, from compassionate people, but it creates a no-go zone. It creates a topic you are no longer allowed to approach because it is that person's trigger or it is that person's vulnerability or soft spot or weakness in life, okay? And so it makes it so you can no longer talk about topics to that toxic person. So it makes it so the topics that become off limits are actually the things that they're doing to you. You know, they're projecting all of this out there to avoid what it is that they're actually doing. You see, the self-important and egotistical-seeming, narcissistic, covert behavior is all hidden when we're talking about covert narcissists. And this is one way that they just hide deeper and deeper behind the mask of the victim. I mean, how can you say that someone isn't a victim of something that they experienced and have that be okay. You can't. They've learned to weaponize this, this thing that is so close to our own experience, this feeling of being misused and mistreated, and they've used to weaponize that to manipulate other people. They are not speaking of their hurts and their traumas in a way that is just to help themselves heal. What they're trying to do is force you into the role of the perpetrator, force you into the role of their therapist, of their mother, of their father, to caretake their feelings and emotions instead of them stepping forward and healing through the same channels, the same through the same means that we use to heal. This is just another way a narcissistic person does not take accountability even for their own life. 
so much more on covert narcissism we could talk about. Go back and watch the other videos. If a covert narcissist is in your life and you're trying to understand what is going on, there's a whole playlist here, okay? So check that out. If you need coaching or group coaching, check out the information in the main description of every video. There's information there on how to get help. I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.